Hi, this is Daniel Rizak, and I'm here to talk to you today about using a free learning management system, a web-hosted LMS, called edu20.org. And uh, this is a case study. I'm going to tell you the good, the bad. Let's start off with the good, okay? We're going to talk about the look and feel, and I'm going to talk to you about the tools EDU offers, and then I'll talk about functionality and uh, finally some security issues. Uh, the first thing you can notice is that the look of EDU 2.0 is very engaging. All right, It's blue, it's green, the colors are nice, and it was designed professionally. Uh, and I think that does say something uh, for when students, um, you know, for, are using internet or the internet are using different websites they can tell the difference between something that's been professionally uh, designed or something that that looks like a Cracker Jack design um, right off the bat and I logged in as a student so you can see that there is some organization here um, five tabs um, these two tabs I don't use very often but this tab uh, they use all the time as you can see the look here is of a social network there is uh, a avatar and they can choose many different types of avatars uh, it has a comic book feel and they have messaging and they also have um, uh, little notes here if they've missed or if they needed to be as, uh, reminded about assignments um, so the look is very engaging it's fun it's playful it's very uh, very uh, nicely designed um, next thing I'm going to talk to you about is the tools and when we go to learn we're going to go to the class, and there are many different tools that we use in class uh, on EDU 2.0. And this is the biggest one, this tab right here, Collaboration. Um, we use the blog tab a lot. We use the blog tool a lot, and a lot of times they will go to my blog and often comment on something that I ask. Um, and they use their blogs as well as um, interactive journals. There's a WYSIWYG editor there on their blogs and uh, their own personal blogs. They also has a, uh, this also has a wiki function which I don't use very often. It's very simple. Uh, the debate function is very nice although I didn't add a debate yet uh, this semester but basically there they can vote on a critical uh, thinking question and uh, or a proposition that I that I put up there. Um, there's groups. I don't use groups very often. Um, assignments, let's go to lessons and resources. Resources is a very helpful tool for me as a teacher and for them. And you can see that I've offered uh, some links for them and some PDF, PDF files um, and many, many links for them for this class. Um, here is all their lessons. Um, and uh, actually this is an archive of the last lessons from the, from the past semester that I've just kept there and I'll let them know when we're going to use them again or I'll add new lessons to the bottom um, and they do allow me to embed uh, things so I do often uh, when I do a lesson use zoho.com and embed stuff into the lesson so they have a nice they have a nice presentation there um, and there's a calendar function that is uh, the next thing whenever I add a lesson or I do anything I put it uh, it goes into the calendar function, so they can check that to see if they have any upcoming, um, any upcoming uh, uh, tests or quizzes or, or homework assignments that are due. Okay. Um, I do want to show you what things look like from a functional aspect, uh, from the teacher side of things. And functionally, since I did talk about tools, I'm going on a function now. Uh, functionally, I find that th that this is really sweet because I do have a lot of control over what my kids do and uh, I'll show you that. That's my biggest biggest thing. When I s sign myself up I allowed you can see here that I can allow many different types of functions. I can add I can allow the kids to create their own classes if they wanted to. Groups, family, games, photos. I can turn these on and off at will and that's very 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 helpful uh, to me. This is a walled community and inside the walled community that provides additional security for the students and uh, it means that basically they can only communicate with each other in this uh, in EDU 2.0.